Hi and welcome to another video from CodeReview.io In this video we will talk about Sentry, uh, the pack report tracking and the performance for monitoring for developers and business it helps you to build and then to track the back uh, for, from the user's behavior and it gives you a, a lot of oppert uh, opportunity, the line, uh, the exact or maybe where, where the crash has been uh, done and then you will have uh, a lot of things like you can see the if the your app is behaving slower or you can see if the if there is event uh, exact event where it happens when you can see also a perversion that's uh, also a nice uh, thing uh, you have the opportunity to see uh, if something will be triggered via the let's say the production or in the debug mode or um, uh, yeah in the development and most importantly is that it you can integrate it with all the front end mostly most of the front end technologies mainly we will use a flutter for now uh, but it can be integrated with other uh, uh, platforms like you can send a slack notification you can have it in uh, GitHub or GitLab to see to send something to to GitLab about the report. To get started, you need to create an account. You just say get started, create an account. You can use the free uh, you can use the free uh, package for now. Uh, it gives you more uh, just one team. Now, uh, after you create an account, you don't need to uh, you don't need anything to uh, mostly. Uh, when you create an account, you need to create an API key. So uh, if I go and open my Sentry here, you just need to go to settings where you say uh, you need to create an API key. So this is an API keys. And then you create an auth token. And here you create a new token. And then it, this token will be used to target your app. Uh, make sure that this token will not be used in anywhere else uh, only for one app otherwise it will be it will throw an error so you get an api key then we will uh, go and in the flutter side we will uh, integrate this uh, with, within the api key and then we will use it to uh, send back C report or throw an error or, or cache even Let's create a new project uh, with a Flutter and then we uh, the, the only two packages we need is that uh, one is called uh, Sentry Flutter. Uh, you can pick the version that you want or the latest version. And the other one we will use is the provider where we need to have a wrapper that will give uh, give us opportunity to, to uh, send any crash reports in case of there is uh, any. I mean, uh, we can also handle it manually or we can we can let Sentry to do it by itself. The main Dart file, I removed uh, almost everything and I start from scratch. So in the uh, main uh, methods, I created a class where you can have the Sentry reporter set up. So what this is actually do, it will send, we send the, the app widget, the main app widget to it. And then this will only set up the uh, sentry just to clean up the main because it will be a bit mess here. So if we go to this class, it most importantly is will be uh, a lot of uh, a couple static methods. The first thing we need to have uh, a future uh, where we say to await for the sentry to in initialize all the configuration. And this is actually what I call the, the D DCN, which is the API key that you will be uh, having from Sentry. Here, you can put it here. And so we call init, we send the option TCN, the trace is a sample rate. Uh, normally this is the, by default and uh, you, you can have it uh, more. The reporter packages, if you want to, you can ha have it as a true and then consider uh, the app in a frame by default. That's one is also can be used as you can enable it also. There is a bit, a bit also a uh, couple information like environment attributes uh, where you can pause the app version, the device name, device ID. But I think this will pick by uh, automatically. So you don't actually need to, uh, to uh, send these. 
and by the way for this one I will remove it after this video so there is no point to copy this it has also the app runner where actually you can ask who to run the app and this is actually run the app the 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 one that we used uh, where you say uh, default assets bundle and you say this is the default uh, bundle for our app and then we send sentry asset bundle that will uh, give us to enable structured data tracing and then we send the child and this the child is our app with the um, uh, entry for our app method that has been created here we can uh, make a wrapper uh, or make a, a bit uh, let's say uh, uh, simplify the, the, the methods that we need to send uh, for example we can generate throwing an error where we have the message exception and a trace a stack trace and then uh, sentry gives you the ability to capture either the exception or ch capture messages but uh, we have also set up for performance where it will uh, here when you can set up the tra transaction which means that uh, set up the performance I think in the free trial of Sentry you cannot have the setup performance but somehow uh, I put already this one so you can uh, take a look at it. Uh, it's mainly straightforward so you make a transaction and then you uh, take the process order patch with, or with the transaction that comes from Sentry and in case of there is an exception you throw it and then uh, the status will be the span status internal error which means that something to do with the uh, uh, with the performance in the ios or android and then in the finally we just we just finished the transaction so that's in the sentry reporter as i said it's mainly mainly this one for to set up so after we set up then we send the app widget we create the the, the widgets here and then uh, what i did is that i create another overlay or another wrapper actually this one it's meant to be an overlay not a, not a wrapper but uh, this class is uh, will return an, a widget as you see here uh, it's meant to be to uh, have it in case of development mode so let's say that you have uh, uh, two versions uh, one of for the development one is that before development let's say where it goes to the build but not to the store and the other one is that the, to the store what we call it the production so whenever you have this uh, you can enable it or you can uh, actually disable it like uh, okay for the store version don't show this and for the other versions then show the bug report overlay that's the main uh, idea of this now in the bug report overlay first we need to make the stateful widgets and then we uh, extend it with the change no, uh, uh, yeah we bring it with the change notifier uh, that because we need to have couple state tracking one of four called for show overlay and then is sent uh, we also have the panel username and then panel description yeah and then uh, we will bring the floating report provider the, the one we have talked about and what we need to do is just initialize it inside the init state that's give us the access to the floating report provider where we can uh, send the reports. Now, mainly is that uh, uh, we will go back to this one soon and then this one soon here. So most importantly is here is that we uh, bring the, the uh, change notifier provider that where uh, it comes from the provider package and then we bring uh, we tag it as a floating pack reporter provider we put the create as a floating reporter uh, provider and then we consume it as uh, yeah as a, with a consumer from um, uh, provider and then we send the material app and here uh, i think it's most uh, this one is uh, straightforward to the flutter uh, architecture uh, of for the widgets implementation so we just didn't say our title title scaffold and then we bring the stack and this is mostly just uh, to check uh, to check the ui here we send the material ui with the stack and the expand we send the stack with the expand and whenever it's uh, the state to show overlay then we build a panel 
and that panel is actually just a positioned container where you have uh, the ability to see uh, actually to see uh, the message so it's, so you have like a, a panel uh, where you see either after you submitting the, the the bug report you will see thank you for the feedback and then with the icon otherwise you will say report an issue with couple text field that will ask you to report what exactly your issue uh, and then uh, we send the submit button so the submit button will try to uh, bring the username and then the description from the text fields and then we it will try to capture user feedback so this is where we say floating pack reporter provider capture user feedback we send the username and the, within the description and after a couple uh, after one second we send and uh, we close the overlay and we make sure that everything is back to reset actually uh, in the dispose function we need also to uh, set a state again to show overlay and then it's sent to false to make sure that everything is back to the to the default state now in the in the ui itself it's uh, mainly that uh, you have a ui changes where you have like the positions and where you want to put uh, uh, where you want to put this icon or this overlay and and the rest it's uh, more straightforward so we don't actually have uh, any uh, magic here let's say um, here you have the height of the top bar this is depends again depends to you where you want to put this one this is now a constant value or a double value that uh, but you can uh, use it as a depends on the, the screen size or depends on the height of your tab bar if there is a tab bar now we run already the app and then we will see the, yeah the app is uh, totally empty that's what i actually uh, mainly wanted to do because this actually where you want to put the app and depends on you where it's gonna be the main widgets or maybe the navigation widgets here but then we have this pack report and then we can click on it and then we see the full name the the the, the description that you want and then the submitting the uh, value and you can see that we cannot submit because it's totally empty and we can actually send something I uh, so the user email here what I did is that uh, in the send uh, in the floating bug reporter provider um, this class is meant to be uh, to have the, the ability to send to capture events it's just uh, the same events that comes from the sentries we just exposed expose them um, together with the change notifier and because we need to notify the lis other listeners and uh, what we need to do is we have the event ID and the user email and in this case I want to pass the user email here uh, as, a, uh, as a default so what you can do is actually whenever the user is logged in you can take the email of the that user and pass it to this um, to this function or to, to this method by uh, um, by initializing the class and then sending the user email so as you can see here the event id is already initialized and it was a throwing error because i didn't initialize the user email and when i clicked on the submit it will uh, it was uh, trying to capture the user feedback with empty user email so uh, what you can do is here just say okay a uh, new user email is actually equal to something uh, for example uh, i don't know uh, so in this case the user email it, uh, will be initialized by default but i would suggest that uh, that's only for the placeholder uh, change this in the production you need to trigger this whenever there is a user email uh, there is a user logged in with the email or at least his yeah user um, so let's try again so uh, we will say here and then we say good if you and then submit and then you see it gets the thank you for feedback and sent the report if I go back to uh, 
to century dashboard i can see uh, for now i uh, took all the result um, but uh, actually we can took as all so you can filter by all but this is just an example to show you how uh, i uh, was doing the, the the reporting so for example when i was coding and uh, it was already integrated it was saying like okay the panel title is not has been not initialized and it was a throwing an error as a crash there is a, a render flex over yeah overflowed by 100 pixel so century capture all the events that will be uh, all all the the debugs or events yeah that can be triggered by the flutter so uh, here for example third assertion line and then it will ask you which line and the decoration uh, I can give you an example of so here I think because we have a container and then uh, we cannot send the color and then this will throw an error because uh, you cannot have decoration and the color uh, in the same container because uh, it cannot be the color needs to be sent within the decoration so if I click on this it should then send uh, an error you can see color is current kind of no and now we just need to report uh, just refresh and here you need to make sure that the, the debug is enabled here and you can see all and result so I will go to all and result one is called uh, field user email that's the one we have seen in the beginning and then here uh, the here if you have uh, we have a performance setup as I said and this is out of the memory issue now if we click on this you will see exactly the whole the no, yeah the whole flow so where is exactly throwing and uh, in which screen I have an announcement I have I will release a new YouTube channel only in Arabic language for all the courses or all the uh, the front end technologies so stay tuned I will link this one in the description below and then we will uh, start a new a new beginning so anyone who's uh, Arabic speaking and he think that uh, he can follow better in Arabic uh, there it will be a good fit for him and we will speak mostly about uh, the flutter the app development all uh, the uh, front end react and then next.js and node.js that's the most important uh, goal from me and then uh, it's all about the other uh, plugins other uh, frameworks and libraries so stay tuned and check the description below thank you for watching and see you next time